Good fat. On Saturday, June 4th, I went to a publicized event at Manchester PD, organized in response to a strange group incident. About 35 people went to the police station uh, to stand on the sidewalk and protest the exoneration of four police officers in that meeting of that strange crew last year. My purpose was to peaceably demonstrate in support of police accountability and to condemn the disgraceful actions committed by individuals working for the city of Manchester. There were some uh, major rights violations that happened to Manchester area residents in the past few weeks that uh, the Attorney General, for whatever reason, decided to just not uh, go after. Actions which have been heavy-handed, too often brutally violent and even murderous. Actions that I hope bring shame upon those who would purport to serve and protect the people of Manchester and who have yet to be held accountable for their savage beating of Chris Mikulovic. Uh, the chalking was, I think, appropriate and simply to call attention to uh, the public. It was not my intention uh, nor am I aware that it was anyone's intention to be arrested that day on Saturday or to prove a point by being arrested. I felt it was simply a, an act of uh, civil disobedience a la Henry David Thoreau calling your attention to the obvious abuses of, you know, police power. Um, I was one of the eight people arrested on Saturday. I'd like to say that uh, I know myself and all everybody else that was there. I did not see anybody harm any person or property. I do not see any reason why anybody should have been arrested. i just like to underscore the fact that I spent 30 hours in a cage for chopping. So this looks really bad for your guys, especially if, uh, in, in times of budget crises. Uh, how much money is being spent to lock, lock up uh, myself and, and my peaceful friends uh, to steal our property? Something many of you probably have children who have chopped the sidewalk or chopped the uh, school grounds at their you know, school that they attend each day. Um, to me, that's no different than chalking uh, the police station. It is public property. Uh, taxpayers pay for these, these uh, buildings, uh, including the one we're in. And uh, it harms nobody by putting chalk, that children's chalk, that removes it in rain or something like that. There was no damage. Not, not any, any way warranting anybody's kidnapping or the theft of property. People have a right to petition their government for redress of grievances. They have a right to protest. Um, they have a right to be secure in their property and their effects and, the, and they should, should not have had their property confiscated without a warrant. The rights of myself and many others were violated that day. Our right to free speech, to freedom of the press, to peaceably assemble, and to petition for redress of grievances. They confiscated the cameras of nine people that were there. They did not confiscate the one camera from WMUR. Two of my cameras and my cell phone had been stolen by the Manchester PD. I was not arrested, though I did see my friends dragged off. Um, I uh, also saw the theft and also was, uh, I had a camera stolen right out of my hands. One of them then grabbed the phone out of my hand, declared it to be evidence, and said, if you show me your ID, I will give you the phone back. He had gone, I was told I could pick it up Monday, I went there Monday, they told me to come back Tuesday, I went there Tuesday, they told me to come back Friday. Uh, when the cameras were confiscated, they did not get receipts for them. They asked for receipts. One person went into the police station and asked for a receipt. He was immediately told no, told to leave, and then within a few seconds was arrested. And I'm still to this day without the equipment tiny to uh, make a living. And I think, you know, the people here who have testified have said that they need their phones, their cameras. I know the gentleman at the back who has his mouth gagged is an independent media. They took his very expensive camera. The people uh, that were initiating violence that day all had Manchester Police Department badges on. Now we are here to remind you of your duties to hold the individuals who work for you accountable for their actions. Our criticisms of the abuses of Manchester PD were unintentionally underscored by their response to Saturday's peaceful demonstrations. I'm concerned about the growing distrust between the public and the police force, which is supposed to behave in accordance with high moral standards, which they did not. How can you and I, as Manchester residents, feel safe walking down the street when your phone can be taken as evidence at any time? And I got into the discussion with the police um, that there's a difference in opinions on terminology here, but they call it confiscation, I call it theft. They asked for identification. When people did not give identification, they arrested them. Since when do we need photo IDs to walk down the street? <coughs> even though their people are not required in, to carry identification. Uh, they asked them to disperse. When they did not disperse, they arrested them. Several of the officers uh, cursed us 
uh, for wasting their time and resources on a busy Saturday night. And I think that's kind of backwards. On a busy Saturday night, if that's what it is around here, they should have been out uh, dealing with more uh, vicious uh, acts of crime. And I was charged with criminal mischief, which I'm still to this moment I'm not even sure what that means. But um, I was assaulted. I had bruises on my ankles from shackles on my wrist and my back from sleeping in the Valley Street Jail. If you would please go to the, the police chief and ask him to ask his men to protect the rights of not only those who agree with them and like them, but also the rights of those who do not agree with them and whom they do not like. It is your responsibility as aldermen to protect the people of Manchester from your own employees and hold them accountable for their actions. If you fail in these duties, the people you purport to represent will do so themselves with cameras in hand and your reputation will suffer, as too, I would hope, your conscience. Um, all of this for chalking, so again, um, I know you guys don't probably affect the policy of the Manchester Police Department, but you do affect their budget, and that's what their budget is being used for, to harass people, peaceful people who are only trying to make members of this community aware of the issues and the transparency issues that the Manchester Police clearly have. And it's up to you to rein in your police force. It is up to you to say this is not acceptable behavior by your police force. The aggregate police mechanism in our country should be troubling to everyone. <coughs> and it's disturbing to me that it's not. They don't have any extra rights because they have baddies. <laughs> I want to remind you guys that they don't have any extra rights because they have baddies. We're losing the actual um, operation of the Bill of Rights. The state of New Hampshire is the place where constitutional government was invented in the United States of America. The state of New Hampshire is the place where it was the site of the first action of the Revolutionary War for William and Mary, which is now a fourth constitution. May I dare add that the right expressed in Article 10 of the New Hampshire Constitution is the right to revolution, to which I say a revolution without chalking is a revolution not worth having.